Greetings. Today we're up in Northern California in a valley created by the San Andreas Fault. We're in Oak Woodland here and we're following along the road. My sister treated me to this trip here and soon we encounter a bunch of cars and we're all heading into the Fioli Estate, which is one of America's great castles. The reason for us coming up here was uh, my sister got tickets to a TV show that was being filmed here called the Antiques Roadshow. For those of you familiar with the Antiques Roadshow, it's hosted by PBS and local affiliates. This one by KQED up in San Francisco there. Uh, I must say the experience uh, was very enlightening. It was really good. Um, I was really surprised. I thought it was going to be more of a uh, a mess but man these guys are so professional they've been doing it for so many years it was such a delightful experience and it totally blew my mind so with the production of the show they have a kind of a triage area where they kind of look at your items and kind of figure out where it's going to go and they have various items like well, jewelry or art or ceramics or textiles and you could go there. Some lines are a little bit long and you may have to wait a little while, but uh, with the camaraderie of the other participants, it goes by really quick. You always find people to make conversation with and talk about your items and such. And the appraisers uh, will then appraise your item and tell you a little bit, I think the most interesting, a little bit more about the background of the item. Uh, they have a lot of experience. Man, they are super helpful. They're super friendly. Um, and it's, you know, I, it blew my mind. It was just a really cool thing to be able to talk with some of these folks. Now, if you do have an item of interest, they might select you for filming. Yeah, in our case, we didn't have anything that was of, of major interest, but it was happening all around. And what they're trying to do is get content. And I'm sure it's going to be edited down depending on what they actually find. Uh, they do have set up venues for actually filming and, and doing segments. They also do a lot of impromptu uh, type of filming. It's really kind of neat. After our appraisals, we decided to tour the 17 acres of gardens that are part of the 654-acre estate. Now, the house was built in 1915 uh, to 1917, and the gardens have kind of been an evolution and progress. Now, the house itself is, you know, over 50,000 square feet and has 56 rooms uh, and we didn't really tour that area but it was, looked really inviting and you might be familiar with the estate because it was uh, on an old TV show called Dynasty. Now the house was originally founded by a guy named William Bourne and uh, he took up construction of the place. In 1936 after they died it was sold to the Ross and Mrs. Roth was heiress to the Matson Navigation Company and shipping company as we know it today. In 1976 the house was donated to the National Trust for Historic Preservation and it's a California historic landmark. I myself being a plant nerd really enjoyed the gardens and I couldn't help myself think about another YouTube channel called Crime Pays But Botany Does Not, hosted by Joey Sator. And talking to my sister about these plants, I eventually worked into using a Joey voice. And uh, shout out to you, Joey. Thanks a lot for bringing a great channel about. One of the highlights of the gardens is the apple orchard. And there's over 275 varieties of apples in the 650 trees within the orchard. So it must be really kind of neat. They weren't quite ripe, so I didn't actually try one. But man, walk around the gardens, all different formal gardens, informal gardens. Uh, there's herb gardens, uh, various coreopsises blooming at the time we were there. Uh, also, I noticed one of the neat things um, were some of the ewes that they have around there, which is kind of noted for, but also some of the junipers, especially some of the junipers tucked away and some of the Japanese maples that were tucked away were actually trimmed in kind of a bonsai fashion. And I love little bonsais and it was neat to walk around looking for gnomes in the garden and see these uh, uh, little bonsai trimmed plants. Uh, otherwise, you know, besides uh, a lot of the, the formality of it, 
it's actually somewhat informal and that adds a lot of character and charm to this uh, the guards are put off into these sections and each one was kind of a new adventure and to go out and hang out and totally enjoy the experience of this Peoli is located between San Francisco and Santa Cruz, California, a small community called Woodside. Uh, it's a great venue if you are planning to host a reception or a wedding or a conference, uh, you might explore this as an option to actually use. Also, I want to give a shout out to the Antiques Roadshow crew and KQED and all the volunteers that associated with the production of the roadshow. A great experience you guys were ace uh, totally spot on and made the experience just totally wonderful also the various hosts of the road show all the appraisers you're funny and great uh, so a big shout out to you guys well I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you on the next adventure <laughs>